Oh, we hit it. Let's go. Oh, what a play. What's up, guys? We're back here on Black Ops Cold War multiplayer, and they just added the new shotgun pistol, the Marshall, and today we're going to be getting it Dark Matter. Now, to unlock the Marshall, you need to get a headshot with a pistol in 15 completed games, and although that is a really easy challenge, I do have enough COD points to buy the bundle for it. So to save some time, I'm going to go ahead and grab it. There we go. Another hard day's work. Now, what's the assassination with this bundle? Jeez, so many steps to it. I think I'll keep whatever one I have on. Well, let's go ahead and throw it in the class and then hop into a game with it. Oh, wait, what attachments does this come with? Oh, it already comes dual wield with dragon's breath and the cut down barrel. Okay, this should be fun. All right, really quick. Here's the inspection on the marshals. Looks pretty cool. You get to look at each individual gun. Ooh, even cross them up, throw up the X. All right, now let's see how they can do. Now, I do have a little bit of advantage with these already coming as a dual wield and with dragon's breath, but let's see if they're good. Where's our first victim? Right here. Here. Ooh, get the kill right off the bat. That guy eats a Tommy. Perfect. Push the doorway, please. Got him. Oh, gotta reload. Oh, so close. But so far, so good. These things have been a one-shot kill. And for pistols, that's pretty nice. The one thing that is concerning, though, is that you get to shoot these things twice. You only have four reserve ammo, and each of these guns have four bullets in them. Ooh! No! All right, let me throw on Scavenger because I'm definitely going to need it. I don't know if there's going to be an attachment or anything to add more ammo to it. But if there is, it, it's definitely going to make this thing way better. But I think it might be a balancing thing. There we go. Let me also put stims on this class. There we go. Oh, why did I have to reload? I have such a problem with COD reloading. With guns that only have two bullets in them, I still have to reload. Now, so far, I'm not seeing any Dragon's Breath rounds. These guys aren't catching on fire unless I'm missing it. Now, this is probably the worst map to get these on. If we we're on, like, Game Show or something, we could definitely rack up some more kills. We basically have to run right at these guys. It's a straight line. So let's try to be a little sneaky about it. Oh, can't sneak my way through that. Oh, and this guy's gonna die. There we go. Already leveled him up to level three. Oh, nice little long shot there. Was that even a long shot? Oh, wait, that's concerning. Because pistols always have a long shot challenge. And if this takes a pistol long shot range, it's going to be awful. I don't know how I'm going to get any pistol long shots. That just took two shots right there. And that wasn't even long shot range. This might be impossible to grind. Oh, <gasps> how did I even hit that tomahawk? Oh, he saw me for sure. Oh, still got the kill though. Let's lay down while we reload and get killed by the Semtex. So far, these things are really, really good close range. Oh, eat the Tommy. I'm going crazy with the Tomahawks right now. But as I was saying, these things are really good close range. If you have to run up on somebody, if you're solely using these, it's going to be really difficult to get a kill. A lot of things are out TTKing it. They're out ranging it. They're out everythinging it. But one thing this thing's going to win at is point blanks. Ooh, nice. This guy's next. Oh, out of ammo. Come on, can we get a little bit more? Oh, all right. So I think I might have a strat for this. I kind of have to use it like a knife, playing very close, focusing more on movement rather than aim. Trying to stay as safe as possible. Oh, there's our first camo. We have 25 kills of this thing already. Let me reload this. Get that kill. There's another guy on me. Let's go. Oh no, please. We got 12 seconds to get a kill here. Come on, one last one for the road. There we go. Maybe another. Not looking like it. 32 and 23. That's probably one of the better starts we've had with a weapon besides the Tech 9. Oh, and we're getting play of the game. Slight work. But first impressions, they're all right. I mean, they're really, really good close range. It's really difficult to get up that close. And then once you do, to reload them, it takes a while. And they don't have that much ammo. So this is going to be a very, very tough grind. Now, really quick, let me check and see if there is the long shot challenge for this. Oh my God, there is. I have to get 25 long shots with this. Now, at least it's not 50, but getting one long shot with this is going to be a challenge on its own. But I'm going to go ahead and grind this all the way to dark matter. If you want to watch the grind, I will be streaming it over on Twitch twitch.tv slash jmon3y26 and i'll see you guys when we get dark matter
All right, as you can see in that last clip, we did end up getting the Marshall's Dark Matter. And let me tell you, it was a struggle. Now, these guns aren't good and they're not bad. They're like good bad, if that makes sense. What I'm saying is if you bring them out every once in a while, you'll probably get a few kills of them close range. Uh, they're not too terrible. But the camo grind for these things is on another level of stupid. So really fast, here is what the mastery camos look like on the Marshalls. Here is what gold looks like on it. Pretty good, pretty nice coverage. Here is diamond. Diamond looks really nice. All studded out down the barrel. And this is what dark matter looks like on them. Honestly, pretty good. Well, let's get into the challenges, shall we? Now, a lot of these challenges weren't that hard. It's mostly get kills, get double kills, headshots, things like that. But the long shots were especially tough because this thing only has two barrel attachments. One does give it more range, but the second you put a Kimbo on these, all the other attachments don't work at all. Dragon fire rounds don't work. Longer range on the barrels don't work. It, it, it's just a mess. So long shots took a while to do. What I did was play hardcore with them, use a single pistol, put an optic on it, and you know, tried my best because it does use pistol long shot range. And that is literally that the max range for this weapon. So it, it, it's going to take a while. It is only 25 long shots, but it did take me quite a bit. But that wasn't even the hardest challenge. The absolute toughest challenge for me was kills behind cover. I think I flew through everything besides long shots and this, but this took especially long. Not only do these things have no range, so you can't hit a lot of the common kills behind cover spots, but also they're not very accurate, so you have to get really lucky with these. You have to be... It's just so specific, and I hate that there's even a challenge that relies on what somebody else has to do for you to get it. It is just an absolute catastrophe trying to get this done. The camo grind for this is very comparable to getting launchers done on terms of how grueling it was. It was just absolutely awful. But that's enough looking at the camos. Let's go ahead and hop in a game on face off 6v6. All right, here is what the marshals look like with dark matter on them in game. They look pretty good, nice and stylish, but these guns have brought me so much pain. I don't even want to look at them anymore. But like I was saying, this camo challenge was awful. Absolutely awful to grind. Because not only do these things hardly have any ammo, they hardly have any range, any accuracy. These are like the gimmick guns. Oh, well, there we go. Quick headshot. So like I was saying earlier, when I grinded this weapon for my long shots, I kept it on a single shotgun just until I got my long shots done. So basically the whole grind. And then by the time I got those done, I switched over to the akimbo. Cranked to the other challenges out a lot faster. But the main thing is kills behind cover. Once you get to a high enough level to unlock that challenge, really try to focus on it. Take your time trying to identify where people are at. Like if somebody is like shooting around a corner or something. Try to make sure you get close enough before shooting. Or if somebody's AFK, try to position yourself around where it would look like they're in cover. I don't, I don't know if that makes sense, but try to make the best out of all the opportunities you can because kills behind cover do not come very frequently with this this gun. I think that might have been one right there. But if you're looking for a pistol to grind for dark matter, would definitely not recommend these. These are awful. Ooh, nice little kill there. Now, I am talking a lot of shit on these weapons, but I did get some nice feed with them. Some some really, really nice clips. So hopefully you guys do enjoy those. They had to have collabed with like therapists or something when dropping this gun, knowing the amount of new patients they'd get after people try to grind these to dark matter or gold. Because it, it, was, it was just absolutely ridiculous. I think it took me probably about four and a half hours, maybe five. I could have got done a lot quicker if it weren't for the kills behind cover. But if you're not worried about grinding camos for these, I'm sure you'll still have a good time using them. Because once you get going with them, they're pretty fun. They absolutely dominate in close range. But right now, I'm kind of getting my shit kicked in. I'm 10 and 14. We're back on U-Bond like we were at the start of this video. We just gotta play a little smarter. And by smart, I mean reload and run right at somebody. I'm gonna try alternating guns. There we go. Really taking them out. Oh, this is not a good game for these. These guys are dominating. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me get back in the saddle. Push me. Bitch. Toss the Tommy. Oh. I actually try to dodge that in real life. There we go. Hit him with the left one. Who wants the right? He does. Oh, missed every shot. Get out of there. That's another one. Oh, I had to reload. 19 and 21. 19 and 21. Absolutely awful game. That about sums up this grind. Honestly, I would not recommend grinding these. I don't think it was worth the time unless you are a completionist. But overall, if I had to rate the guns, probably a 3 out of 10. 
just because the grind was so awful, but they are kind of fun to use, kind of fun to mess around with. So if you're looking for something to do, go ahead, but uh, be cautious. And I think that's where I'm gonna end this video. If you guys like this and you wanna see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And that's gonna be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.